Ba bam! Here we are today again, guys, with talking and drawing, and I'm here today with the lovely, charismatic, charming life uh, light of my life, <laughs> Jan Zeeland. Hi. Anniversary, guys, is coming up. I, I oh. gotta gotta butter them rolls. Uh, here we are. We're here today to talk about cancel culture. We're talking about a man being put to bed. Twitter putting people to sleep. The big sleep, the big sleep I'm talking about, like uh, not the sleep like a comfortable rest on a my pillow. It's it's kind of like the sleep when uh, you take your dog to the vet and it's got to be put to sleep. So before we go into this, guys, this is the day. I know it. I know it. I feel it. I feel it here in my <laughs> heart that you're gonna hit like, subscribe. You are gonna look down. Make a commitment to this channel. Make a subscribe. Become a subscriber. Don't make make us the subscribed. You become a subscriber, and boosh, here we go. My pillow CEO Mike Lindell has been banned from Twitter. Not just banned, I would call this canceled. He has been. Uh, he started off uh, as a as a rattling drug addict. They say, mm -hmm. found composure through prayer. Prayer pro brought him uh, into sobriety, and uh, then um, decided to stuff a pillow full of something sold it on tv uh apparently ran around in pillow, his pajamas apparently this pillow is magical i keep seeing it every time we go to you like walmart never actually you know checked it out is it really magical well the first time i don't know about that but the first time i ever saw the my pillow was actually on cnn on cnn uh every every five seconds during the uh 2016 elections uh, leading up to it was my pillow, my pillow. I saw this guy every five seconds in between uh, news of uh, you know uh, Hillary and whatnot and Trump. And uh, <laughs> it's funny that he kind of snuck his way into the 2016 elections between uh, commercial breaks and then ended up uh, being canceled on Twitter because uh, I don't know why. Actually, nobody really knows how why he was cancelled. All we know is that his account was, you know, uh, well, Twitter, uh, Twitter spokesperson said, the account you reference has been permanently suspended due to repeated violations of our civic integrity policy. Uh, which, you know, it's uh, the civic integrity policy is about, I think it was mainly more because of the, you know, the capital insurrection, whereby people who repeatedly shared election misinformation can be permanently banned. So that's what the civic mm. integrity policy is. So if you just sort of say things like, you know, oh, this guy is not my president, the other guy is, or, you know, I think this election is, the results are faked or something, you can be permanently banned. You know what? I, for four years, have saw nothing come from SJW Twitter, I'll, my, you know, it's been, Twitter's been full of, he's not my president. And Twitter did not, Twitter guys have to go on a rant here. Twitter, you did not deplatform any of these people that said Trump is not my president. So now you're going to decide to ban people when they say Biden's not the president. Well, I guess maybe if you contest and say, oh, the election is, you know, rigged and stuff, they can say, oh, you are, you know, you're knocking on the pillars of our democracy. Therefore, we must take you off the platform. I mean, this uh, guy has like over 400,000 followers. They think maybe he has more clout, maybe because of that. Well, I mean, probably not just for over 400,000 customers, but probably 400,000, uh, uh, not just subs, but uh, customers. That's the thing. This guy, he's been selling pillows. Okay, he came off uh, the horse, the drugs, the wh white drugs, brown drugs, we don't know. He found his way into that and on TV or out of it. And uh, selling pillows, the man sold pillows, people bought them, people liked him. He, he's kind of, he's kind of became kind of, I, I know I'm, this is going to make me sound old, but he's kind of like the, I've, I've fallen and I can't get up clout. Like he's got that going for him. People will know this guy from years to come, the my pillow guy. He's world famous at this point. And uh, he did it yeah. off, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, T CNN, TV commercials, whatever. Pillows. I don't even well, know if the pillows basically are Basically, it's good. all those home shopping network stuff, isn't it? Kind of like that. Well, yeah, but he also, he really did, like, buy a lot of airtime on CNN. <laughs> so, like, it, it's kind of funny. Um, I guess he's a big Trump supporter. 
Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. It, he says, uh, you know, the elections, uh, whatever. That's an opinion, guys. And uh, it's an opinion that probably half of America has. I, it was a close election, guys. And a loser's always going to say, um, yeah, it t- take a sports game, take anything, take any type of competition. And if your team doesn't win, you're going to blame the referee. You're going to blame this. You're going to blame that. And I'm never not, we're not here. Guy. Well, but that's the thing. You're always going to say, you know, uh, the ref didn't throw the flag right. Uh, the, the machine at the polls was wrong, whatever. You're going to come up with something, whether it's true or false, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, he's just saying, I, I don't agree with the outcome. And that's kind of his constitutional right in a way. Uh, he's not into politics officially, correct? Yeah, no. So, I mean, it's not as if he can really go out there and say, you know what, I'm going to go out there and challenge the election results all by myself because, you know, I have some kind of political power or something. He's just, I would say, at this point, a private citizen expressing an opinion. And according to this Twitter policy, this civic integrity policy thing, the more violations a person commits, the more severe the ban. Two strikes result in a 12-hour lock, for example, while five or more strikes can result in what the company calls a permanent suspension. So I guess, you know, he must have had uh, five or more strikes, this my pillow guy. Well, so Twitter's really weird about that. There's been instances before, and I'm, I'm quoting instances like years ago, where... Um, you get a notification of a strike but they've already like once they attack you like these could be things he's tweeted before but they're just stacked and twitter maybe they caught like him doing this like say the the 15th time and they go back and they don't actually attack him on this until the 15th time or or enact this policy i don't want to say attack they don't enact this policy until like his 15th time he done it so by the time he even gets his first notifications they already went through three of them and he's out he can't even adjust his uh speech because they did it's kind of it's kind of like a weird type of audit of his backlog so like for you know he maybe never even got alerted to his first strike is my point he he probably found out he had a strike when they shut down his account and they said well you've done this multiple times and he's like well nobody said anything to me how how was i to know about this and uh there you go boom you out of twitter town out of twitter town uh and where do people go when you're out of twitter town they go to alt they call it alt tech um alternate tech alternate platforms everybody ran to parlor <laughs> and uh, when people ran the parlor, they also uh, ran out of a job, evidently. So tell us about yep. this. So it looks like there's an account called YA Whispers, you know, that tells people about when their agents decide to, you know, go to the dark side, a.k.a. parlor. So here mm-hmm. is YA Whispers saying, Does at JD Lit Agency know or care that one of their agents frequents alt-right social media like Parler and Gab? And then they, you know, retweeted this Colin. Ophelan, I guess that's how the name is pronounced. And she's saying, oh, I'm now also posting on Parler. It's a great platform with no censorship. Giving away a few critiques there next week. Come find me. And, you know, uh, they decided to just tag the agency. And the agency is like, yeah, thanks for bringing this to my attention. I have taken swift action. And as of this morning, January 25th, Colleen Ophelan is no longer an agent at this agency. And what was her crime? Her crime was literally, I... I decided to post on Parler. And see, that is, that is, uh, I would say, get a lawyer, um, because I think you have a hefty lawsuit against who fired you. Um, I'm glad this is screen captured. Um, now, I'm not here to give legal advice. I am here to give you advice that's up to this channel, though. But no, I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, Twitter is going to do, they don't want people leaving. Their stocks went down when they ban Trump and uh, th- they keep going down a little bit. and But the Twitter's uh, doubling down. There's a thing called Birdwatch that they uh, they brought up. And mm-hmm. it's actually a nice way for you to work for Twitter for free by tattletelling on things that you see on Twitter. They want you to, they're giving you a uh, Birdwatcher badge and little, little goggles. And uh, there you go. 
I can talk about the Birdwatch thing a bit because I read about it. So Birdwatch right now is only an initiative with about a thousand people that are doing this in the background. Eventually though, Twitter's plans are to expand it to include like about a hundred thousand accounts that they are they can verify and stuff. And all the information mm -hmm. that they fact check, you know, fact check can will be posted on a Birdwatch Watch uh, website. So you know what? It's a uh, Big Brother's watching, except it's not Big Brother. It's your neighbors, your friends, everybody's watching. And you. and and uh, oh, what's their incentive? Score. And, and here's the crazy part about the Bird Watch thing. What's their incentive? It's uh, they're not getting money. So what are they getting? Uh, oh, they get that a dopamine hit. The cancel culture. They get to cancel people. That's their drive. This whole bird watch thing is people, SJWs. It's feeding into cancel culture. There is no other initiative behind it. Is you can help take somebody off of Twitter. You you can be a tattletale. What does a tattletale do? They get people in trouble. What's the penalty for this being canceled off of Twitter? Can you imagine if you have a business of any kind or if you're working for some somebody of any stature and they are able to take you down? Just if they get you down and you're canceled, nobody's going to want to be associated with you. This is um, Twitter feeding into the mentality that we need to be t the taking people out like assassins. You need to not at least assassins. They just put you down. You know, they, they say the Italian mob, they go for your family maybe, you're safe on Sundays, whatever. You don't F with these people. The bird watchers, they they uh they make you maybe lose your job. They make you then give you the option of going to parlor. And if you go to parlor, of course what's Twitter gonna say? What's the word on the street? You must alt be right alt right. Platform. Alt right platform. Alt -right. That's a way to poison that well and to keep people from leaving Twitter. See, this is the thing. They're trying to double down police. Use people to for free policing. And that's the scary part. There's no payment. Twitter, you, you evidently can't pay people. Uh, so you're going to give everybody badges and say, you like to cancel people. Here, go. Go mine us a lot of stuff. And it's like, dude, come on. Like, I, I mean, it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this is just a trolling mechanism. And then I hate to point this out, but what if bots? What if people use bots behind this? Oh, okay. Imagine they all just flood and report one guy, and then that guy will lose his account because he's spreading misinformation. Now, I just want to go back on the Mike Lindell thing just a little bit more, you see. I think, though, the issue here is that they cancel a private citizen for expressing reservations about the election results. This is what it boils down to. Now, call me, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but didn't a lot of private citizens and even politicians express reservations about the 2016 election results? Yes, they said he's not my president for four years of him being their president. And oh, they but, all have their accounts. But Everybody suddenly, th suddenly their candidate wins in 2020, right? And then now it becomes a real issue. Like, no, you can't say my guy is not, you know, the president because, uh, you know, my guy won. So we have to make sure that we protect the integrity of his presidency. Mm -hmm. If you say anything bad about it, questioning it, we have to get rid of you. you a little it? bit of hypocrisy. A little bit. Just a... Just a, a table saw pinch of uh, hypocrisy is in that soup. Uh, but uh, whatever. Um, guys. Uh, confused and because if that happens, what happens in 2024 election then? What if the other side wins? Are they going to use this? Are they going to use this po uh, civic integrity policy to protect the other side now? Oh, what is uh, the thing on the left? I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm, I'm very Honestly, by. By 2024, I don't need Twitter. I, honestly, the world doesn't need Twitter. That's the issue. We, we, we were fine without Twitter. Twitter. Twitter is the most divisive social media, in my humble opinion. We, do, we have opened... Uh, did we open a Minds account yet? Do we need to? We, that's the real <laughs> question. Um, we did open a Parlor account. Uh, I it hope I haven't been canceled too. yet. I hope I haven't been canceled yet. But uh, here's the thing that to take away from this is there has been now a void made for alt um, alt platforms or alt tech, alt tech right? Call them. Basically, anything that's not the big boys like the Facebook or Twitter. Right, right, and and it's just a matter of time before somebody maneuvers or you know and and angles uh, and they fill that void. And it's just a matter of time for Twitter. And and the fact that Twitter's doubling down with the bird watch thing is is 
insane. It's the worst thing to do right now um, with their stocks dropping. And the more they do things like this, it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy. And it's they're, they're on an insane mission. I don't know what it is, though, but it's obviously not making money. But how much money do you really need to make when you're Twitter and uh, people are uh, working for you for free? I have no idea. And uh, what's the integrity of these people? What, you have to really worry about the person that has free time for policing. You're what are their about motives? Karen's and MD's keyboard warriors, right? The keyboard warriors, uh, SJWs with a badge and a, an initiative. And uh, what is your what is your political leanings? Because uh, eventually, Twitter. T if he got canceled from Twitter then there's arguably half of America that needs to be canceled from Twitter. Because half of America think Trump won. I mean, that that's a thing. Uh, it's, it, it's, uh, I've seen this in multiple presidential elections, though. This isn't anything unique to this election. There's been a lot of times people have a, you know, they, they raise an eyebrow or they feel their candidate should have won or they felt like some news happened that or you know um that you know they, they their candidate didn't get a fake fair shake you know um sometimes you know it's the electoral college that 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 determines the outcome of an election i mean a lot of people thought more people voted for hillary why didn't she won you know and uh th these are things that that are not new complaints they're just actually being handled in a different way for the first time uh people are losing social media accounts that makes no sense like that hasn't needed that wasn't a necessary thing before um why is it necessary now you I know do. and uh I do look forward to 2022, the midterm elections, and 2024 to see, you know, how the civic integrity policy will play out by then. Mm. I like how it says civic integrity automatically, like there's integrity behind this. It's like, no, there's not. <laughs> no, there's not. Just because you put integrity in the name, you're not fooling me. But I, I am telling people, uh, this is the time that you want to... Uh, Become a member of this channel. Let us keep you up to news um, in things uh, of the execution of the My Pillow guy. I wonder where he's going to end up. What what platform do you think he's going to be on? Well, I mean, Parler is kind of unstable now. Maybe Mines or maybe the whatever mysterious platform that they keep saying they're going to build eventually. So who knows? I mean, remember ten years ago, Twitter wasn't really a thing. So it could be a totally yeah. boy coming into the playing field. Right, I'm running back to MySpace. Mike Lindell, if you're listening, get on MySpace. Um, let's let's bring it back. We're we bringing you, back Tom. MySpace. I still have my MySpace. I do miss <laughs> Tom, actually. I, I miss Tom a lot. Uh, we will catch you guys again with another video.